So I'm going to show how to make whistles today. So I have some that I've made myself and some that I've bought and some that um, have been left here in the past from students. So a couple of the different ones that we have. Uh, this one whistles out through the mouth itself and you can see where the whistle part is in the bottom here. So uh, this one, I'll just whistle a few on the way. <gasps> that one whistles that this one whistles out the mouth the whistle part is behind the hair here uh, basically this one you can also load with glitter down inside of here and when you blow through here it will actually there's a hole in the mouth so it will spit glitter out so I call him my fire breathing dragon so made him special uh, these were left here so this one whistles out the tail feathers this one also whistles out the tail fe feathers those weren't completed to glaze stage this one whistles out um, the behind the hair again and then out the mouth and you can actually play notes with this one so <coughs> that one you can cover the mouth open and close and and cause the different notes uh, this one I'm going to show how to do today this one I actually forgot to put the little whistle part in the back when I was making it I made several in one shot one day uh, this one you can play multiple notes so you can actually it's called an ocarina and you can get it to play like a flute basically so this one you uh, whistle through the mouth through the mouth and then you play the the notes as you go uh, same with this one you whistle through the tail and then you can play the notes on the top and the bottom of it uh, this one whistles out the tail here and doesn't quite stand up straight so you have to be a little careful to make sure you don't make them too heavy or front heavy or not. Uh, this one I bought at the Renaissance Festival and this one is a Raku firing that you can play um, again through the mouth here and then there's also different notes that you can play so I'll just play this one really quick so you can play different notes. Um, this one whistles out the mouth but could have also whistled out the tail. I think that was the plan but she didn't get around to putting that in the other part. So to show you how to make whistles then, uh, these have been cut in half so that you can see what's going on inside the whistle. I'll reference these as I go. We do have handouts up at the front of the classroom so you can go and check those out. Uh, basically, I'm, and I have a smaller and a bigger to show you what the difference in the whistle sounds sound like at the end. The smaller the whistle, the higher the note. The bigger the whistle, the lower the note. So there'll be a difference in these in the end. You start with just a ball of clay, so all I did was ball this up first. And then basically, you start by opening it with your thumb, and you create a pinch pot. So I'm just pushing from my thumb out. I'm not letting it get too wide though, so I'm really pushing with the tip of my thumb upward to kind of hollow that out without letting this open up too much because I need to close that off afterwards. So working on it, getting it nice and even everywhere so you can see inside uh, how nice and thin it is. So now before I do too much closing on the back, what I want to do is put a mouthpiece into it. So you can see over here on this, this is opening it up. Um, the mouthpiece, actually, I would recommend starting with the mouthpiece up further. They have it down a little bit far, farther when they do it. I'm going to do it right at the top, and I'm just going to grab it with my thumb and my, my hand and kind of push from my thumb up and create that mouthpiece right on the top of it. So right there, and make sure that it's pretty straight across here. Then I'm going to go in and start closing up the back. So you kind of pinch to close it up. And work your way along. Keep my finger behind, kind of pushing upward to make sure that it doesn't uh, collapse backwards too much. And I do it until my finger no longer fits inside of it. So now I need to kind of work it together to finish that off. So I'm just kind of coaxing the clay forward and uh, close that off. Once you have it sealed on the inside of it and the air pocket is stuck in there, it will actually hold its shape a lot better. So I'm going to get that to the shape and then you can see it's kind of a weird shape right now so I'm going to go ahead and kind of push it a little bit and tap it to get it to a little bit more rounded look before I go on further. Okay, so there's the look of my whistle from there. Okay, so um, looking at it from the side there, that's what it should look like. 
So now I'm going to go in and start putting the whistle part into it. This does take some work and I don't want you to give up really quickly. Uh, it takes a lot of practice basically. I've made a lot of these so it's going to work for me a lot quicker. Um, but just kind of watch as I go along with this. And by the way, this is on the next page. We'll open up to that so you can see what's going on here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is this where I'm going to push the pencil down inside of it. Uh, I'll turn the whistle the same direction so you can see it the same direction. Make sure that you're um, going straight down in like in here so that uh, it's just on the inside of the surface. So it would be going in right here on this one if you were to see the half one open. So I'm going to kind of drill it down in and you kind of drill it so that you don't push it and collapse anything too much. So down inside and then you're going to twist it back a little bit and I kind of leverage up with my thumb to get it up in the air. So that makes it so that I can actually, so this was down in here and I pushed it back up a little bit so that I could get things underneath it again. So now I'm going to put the uh, the popsicle stick into it. The popsicle stick should line up with the hole. It should be going straight in. So if you look at it this way, it's like this. If you look at it from the side, it should be coming straight out the side, not too far up or too far down. So that's what you want to do with the popsicle stick right now. And uh, so the popsicle stick on the inside of this is sitting here like this. And so that you can see what's going on inside of there. So put that back in. Now I need to create, and I'm going to turn it the other way because it's easier for me to hold on to with my thumb of my left hand so my right hand can do the work. So I'm going to hold it in my hand and my thumb over top of it so it doesn't get pushed down in. It's easy to push this popsicle stick down in. So I'm going to rotate and I'll show you from the top here what it is when I'm rotating. And I'm kind of just rocking it down into there and then I'm going to clean up the front of the the hole in here. So hopefully you can see down inside of there really good. So I want this to be straight up and down right here. Use this one. It's a little easier to see since it's a little darker. So this one I want straight up and down and this one I want at an angle. So right now I'm pushing this down in and creating that kind of bevel going down towards it. That is this right here. And then I'm going to push all this out to the side so that I can see the popsicle stick showing through. It should be a nice square part, not very big. If There's a lot of things that can go wrong with this and make it not whistle. One of the things is that that hole gets too big down inside of there. The other thing is that this popsicle stick starts going down in too far and you can see that it is angling right now. So I'm going to take it and push it up a little bit. And then every time I do that, I need to kind of squish around the mouthpiece, which would be right here so that it stays um, even there. So I'm going to pull that back out slowly and I'm going to inspect inside of it. I don't know how well you can see inside of there, but right now um, there is some junk kind of right down inside of here. I'm going to take that out of there. So I'm going to push my popsicle stick down inside and I'm going to push it back up against the front basically. So I'm going to go down into the hole. I'm going to put my finger right down here so that I can push up in the front and then that makes it so that it's level. Okay, so now I've created this straight up and down right here. Now I need to push this back in and make sure that I stay underneath the bevel when I do that. And I'm going to just sharpen that up again. What happens on the inside is that the air comes in and it splits on this edge and it needs to be directly across from the hole, not too far down, not too far up. And then it basically half the air goes up, half the air goes down. That's what causes the whistle. So I'm going to pull that back out and look and see. Right now there was a big wad that got stuck right inside of there. So I'm going to push that through and get that to come out of there. I'm going to push it all the way down inside. And one more time, just kind of push down on the top. And then I can see that it's pretty straight up and down inside of there. And I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to see here. Okay, so pretty straight down inside of there, and then I can try it and see. 
not whistling yet, so I'm going to look inside of it and see whether or not this stayed straight across from this. This I know you can't see on the video, but you can just look inside of there. You should see a little bit of daylight coming through. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but I'm going to push it back in. I'm going to inspect what could be going wrong with it. So I'm going to squish one more time top and bottom of the above the popsicle stick here and I'm going to make sure everything stayed straight and make sure the bevel stayed nice and sharp by kind of pushing through there. And I'm going to look at it and make sure that that stayed straight. Push it up just one more time so it's about level there. And then I'm going to pull back gently so that it doesn't get stuck and I'm going to try it again. <sighs> Almost. So I'm going to make sure that this right in here is straight up and down again right there. So I'm going to push in and with my finger right underneath here, I'm going to push towards my hand with my thumb towards my finger here. So push there, pull back, and inspect from both there and inside of it. Let's see whether or not this is coming straight through. There's a little bit of a bigger spot on the hole on the top. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to straighten that up and make that bevel one more time. Pull it back gently and there we've got a whistle. So once you get it whistling once, don't keep working on the whistle part. What you want to do then is decorate it and you saw all the different possibilities that it can be. There is no limit to this. It could be anything you want it to be. Um, like I said, I'm going to recreate this really quick just to show you how to do the face. Uh, the whistle, if it stops whistling part way through, as long as you haven't squished this too badly, um, everything from here on in needs to be kind of gentle what you do with it, but as long as you haven't squished that too badly, we can usually get it whistling again once it's whistled once. It's when, once you haven't had it whistling yet that you run into problems. So I'm going to make the face on this one. So I'm going to take the clay and I'm going to, I'm going to push it into a nose. So I'm going to create kind of a triangle here. A little bit hard to do around the tripod legs. There. I'm going to push into a triangle. I'm going to push up underneath the nose. I have to kind of push with my fingernail. Create the nose itself. I could add a little trying or a little bit of button of clay on the end there. I will do that afterwards. And I'm going to push up for the eyebrows. It's kind of rotating my finger upward, my thumb upward, I should say. create the eyebrows and then I'm going to put the eyes in. The eyes, if you take and kind of put the tip down in and kind of wiggle back and forth, you can create pretty realistic looking eyes. And then I'm going to push straight down in with a pencil to create um, the pupils of the eyes. I put some little spokes so that it looks like the colored part of the eye or the iris. And there we go. Um, this is going to be really rough when I do this uh, quickly for the video here. I would go back in and do a lot of refining. Uh, I'm going to put the eyebrow in. So there you've got the eyebrow. The lips I'm going to push upward to create the top lip. And then I'm going to push underneath that upward to create the bottom lip. And I would refine the chin. So right now it has a pretty square chin. I would do some refining on that. So gets the chin a little more normal. Push the cheekbone up just a little bit. You can add nostrils. 
And this is where you can have some fun too with, um, actually I'm going to make this one one of the screaming ones. Um, I'm going to add the nostrils in. Pinch the nose just a little bit to make it a little more normal. So forget about that side of the face right now. Um, so I'm going to make this one of the screaming ones like this. So what I did with that one was I drilled again in the mouth and I pulled upward and downward and I pushed sides in a little bit. I don't think I actually had put the lips in at that point in time. So this one has a little bit of the lips in it already. So I just kind of pulled up and I pulled down to create the lips themselves. And then he should, as long as this is still whistling, should play notes. He stopped whistling, so normally get your person exactly the way, or thing, exactly the way you want it to be first, and then try going in and putting notes in. Um, I'm just going to fix this one quick to make it whistle with the note. Clean up inside of there. And the hopes is that you're going to be able to figure out how to do all of this on your own. I can usually get them whistling, but I want you guys to do your best at trying to get them to whistle. Um, and I'll just help you brainstorm what could be going wrong. I'll show you if the hole is a little bit too big um, and lead you towards that. There is in here later on in the packet, goes through all of the things that problems that could happen and it shows you what you can do to fix them. The air duct is too open. There's like 13 different things that can be done to fix. So, so he's whistling and now let me cover up his mouth. So you can get multiple notes out of it. Like I said, his eyes a little goofy on that side. Imagine that. Um, I added ears on. Ears I just used my finger to do. Um, this one is, like I said, a higher note. So. That one, the smaller the whistle, the higher the note. So that is the basic idea. Make sure that they're whistling before they dry because once they're dry, there's no way to get them whistling afterwards. So.